hi everyone and welcome so in this video we are going to cover the getting started card for luckfox lyra plus single board computer from the luckfox now here you can see the product page of luckfox lyra plus okay now the system on chip is the rk3506 g2 and it's a linux micro development board and it support both ubuntu and the build root operating system now if you scroll down then here you can see it is having 128 MB of DDR3 RAM. Okay, the processor is triple core ARM Cortex A7 1.2 GHz of processor. It does support the USB connectivity. It does support the display. Okay, as well as it has 24 GPIO. It does support the Ethernet and it does have the NAND storage of 256 MB. Now, as you can see, we have the NAND flash available in the Luckfox Lyra. So without using SD card, we can directly flash the build root operating system onto the NAND flash. And without using SD card, we can use this board to perform our operations. Okay. Now here on the camera, you can see we have Luckfox Lyra plus with header. Okay. It's a pre-soldered header. So this is the board here. We have the ethernet. This is the main chip. This is the SD card slot. Here is the USB connector. And on the back side, we have the NAND storage. Okay. Now let's see the getting started guide for this board. Now here on our website, we have provided few links. If you want to read the wiki of Luckfox Lyra board, then you can navigate to this link. If you want to purchase the product, then you can click on this link. If you want to download the Ubuntu operating system, Okay, for the Luckfox Lyra board, then you can navigate to this link. And if you want to download the build root operating system, then here we have provided that link as well. Okay, now our board is Luckfox Lyra Plus and it does support Ubuntu and build root operating system. Now, in this video, I'm going to flash the build root operating system onto NAND storage and we are going to cover the full setup including SSH access. Okay, so here is the link of build root operating system and I have downloaded the Luckfox Lyra plus flash file. Okay, to flash the operating system onto the NAND storage. So here in the folder, you can see operating system Luckfox Lyra plus build root and here you can see Luckfox Lyra plus flash and micro SD card image. But we are going to use this flash image to uh, flash our operating system onto the NAND storage. Okay, so here I have provided every link and here is our board. So you can navigate to the wiki page, okay, wiki and uh, here you can see uh, image flashing. Okay, now once you launch this page, you have to scroll down and you can download the driver assistant tool, okay, which I have already downloaded. So Luckfox software driver assistant tool and driver install.exe so you have to click install driver to install the necessary driver in your system now here you can see driver installation is okay so we have successfully installed all the required drivers okay after installing the driver successfully you can download this rk dev tool now this is the tool which we are going to use to flash the image onto the nand storage so here i have already downloaded that tool Okay, RK Dev tool, and uh, here I am going to launch it. So this is the RK Dev tool. Now you have to navigate to the upgrade firmware section. Okay, and you have to select the firmware here. Now we have the Luckfox Lyra Plus board. I'm going to flash the build root operating system. Okay, and I'm going to flash the build root on the NAND storage. So that's why we have to use the flash version of operating system. And here I have to select update dot image file. Okay, which is having size of 111 MB and then open. And here you can see no device found. Right now we haven't connected our Luckfox Lyra board with our system. So that's why in the RK Dev tool, you will see that no device found. So how you can uh, detect the device in this RK Dev tool. So you have to connect the USB cable here. USB-C, you have to press boot button. So this button is the boot button. You have to press boot button and you have to plug USB cable to your system. 
okay and once you plug the usb cable to your system you have to release the boot button once you release the boot button you will have one loader device available in the rk dev tool software now once you have it you can click on upgrade to flash the operating system onto the nand storage now let's uh see the steps from wiki page yeah so we have found one loader device okay we don't have to check this if we have this message and after that yeah so spi nand flash so we are going to flash the operating system onto the nand storage so we have to select the update dot image file we have to open it and then we just have to click the upgrade button so once we click on the upgrade button it will write our entire operating system onto the nand storage so here i'm going to hit the upgrade button okay here you can see downloading firmware seven percent eight percent so you have to wait until this complete okay and then after we can access our luckfox lyra plus board okay so here you can see download firmware success so we have successfully flashed the build root operating system inside the nand storage of our luckfox lyra board and here you can see led is blinking so it means that os is getting booted okay you will hear few beep sound in your system when uh, you have this device in your network okay now how to access the ssh terminal of luckfox lyra board okay but before that you have to open the view network connection in your system now if your os is successfully booted inside the luckfox lyra board you will have this kind of ethernet device in your network connection okay remote ndis based internet sharing device so this is the uh, usb interface of luckfox lyra board and using that we can access the ssh terminal now you have to go to the properties you have to click on the tcp ip version 4 and here you can see i have uh, set up the ip address 192.168.123.23 why i have used this ip address only so here you can see on our github repository so if you have luckfox lyra board okay then the default static ip of usb interface is this one 192.168.123.100 so that's why i have to keep my system in that network so that's why i have used this ip address now you have to keep this three uh portion as it is 192.168.123 you can only change the last three digit okay so i have uh, used 023 in the last three digit and that's it now i can press okay okay and everything is set now we can ping this uh, device okay this is the ip address of our luckfox lyra board by default if you are using ubuntu or build root any operating system this one is the default ip address of our luckfox lyra board in the case of luckfox pico mini b luckfox pico pro max ultra w uh, both of the ip address is different for ubuntu machine and the build root operating system but for the luckfox lyra for both of the operating system the ip address will remain as it is now i can open the command prompt i can type ping and then ip address of my luckfox lyra board and then i can hit enter okay here you can see i am successfully able to ping the luckfox lyra board which is connected over USB-C interface with my system. Now I have to log into the board. Now here I have provided one command to log into the terminal of Luckfox Lyra board. So you have to copy this command. You have to paste that here and then you have to hit enter. After that you have to type yes and then again enter. Now it will ask for the password. So the default password okay for the Luckfox Lyra board for the root user is Luckfox. So I'm going to provide the password and then I'm going to hit enter. Now here you can see we have the uh, access of our Luckfox Lyra board terminal with build root operating system. Okay, so we have successfully flashed the build root operating system inside the Luckfox Lyra board. We have successfully set up our system to be in the network of the Luckfox Lyra board. Okay, and we have successfully accessed the SSH terminal of Luckfox Lyra board. Now I can run n number of command. I can use Python. I can program this as per my requirement. Now let's check the free memory. So free hyphen H. Okay, so this is the free RAM details. Now DF hyphen TH. Now this is the internal storage detail or you can say 
NAND flash details. Okay. Now, U name hyphen A. This is the CPU detail. If you want to check more CPU details, then I have provided one command here. Okay. Let me check. Yeah. This is the command to check more detail of the CPU. So, paste that command and hit enter. Now, here you can see we have processor 0, processor 1 and processor 2. Now, if you visit the Luxbox Lyra website, okay, then here in the processor, you can see triple core ARM Cortex A7 1.2 gigahertz of processor. Now, this is the core 1, this is the core 2 and this is the core 3 and here you can see ARM processor. Okay, so this is how you can check the processor of your Luxbox Lyra board. Okay, and we have already Python available in the Luxbox Lyra board with the build root operating system. Also, we have the periphery library available here. So, we can directly program and we can directly access the GPIO of Luxbox Lyra board, which we have already covered for Luxbox Pico board. Okay, so yeah, here is the periphery library. Okay, so you can use this. Uh, code to control the GPIO of your Luxbox Lyra board but that thing we are going to cover in the future video as well so you can wait so whatever our agenda for this video we have completed it okay getting started with Luxbox Lyra plus and we have flashed the build root operating system onto the NAND storage we have completed full setup with the SSH access now this board doesn't have the Wi-Fi okay so we cannot connect this board with the Wi-Fi this board is having Ethernet so we can connect this board with our router and we can access the board over the Ethernet we can program something to collect the MQTT data or to collect the industrial data like Modbus, OPC, BACnet okay and then we can process it and we can do a lot of things with it now let's meet in the future videos and in the future video we are going to cover that how you can flash build root operating system on SD card, how you can flash Ubuntu operating system on the SD card and how you can uh, set up your Luxbox Lyra plus board, how you can erase the EMMC storage, how you can transfer the files, how you can control the GPIO and everything. So stay tuned for future videos. Till then take care, goodbye and thank you.